What is up guys, Dusty here, and this is the first of hopefully many um, film room videos. Hopefully it'll become a weekly series for me. Basically, I want my channel to be as helpful as possible to you guys and to me. I want to be able to improve my game and hopefully help improve your Call of Duty games. But for most of my videos, I might want to tell a story, I might want to just talk about the game, talk about my favorite perks, guns, maps, etc. And in those situations, I won't be able to give full assistance on the gameplay itself. I won't be able to go in-depth on my thoughts and basically my strategies. I mean, once in a while, sure, I'll be able to, but not always. So that's why I'm going to try to set aside one video every week where I talk strictly just 100% about the gameplay. And that's what we have right here, the film room with Tom Brady, I guess. <laughs> kind of a reference to the NFL. But instead of picking apart defenses, we are going to be picking apart um, just my Call of Duty game, I guess. Trying to get better. Basically, today's topic I want to talk about is map awareness. This is probably the most important thing in any game, so that's why I wanted to use it for my very first film room video. We can learn a lot of things here. A lot of the things you're going to see here may seem very obvious to you if you're a good player, and that's fine, but hey, everyone's got to start somewhere, so if you're not one of the better players, you might be able to get a lot of good tips out of this video. So without further ado, here we go. Basically, the most important thing I can tell you, basically the most important tip I could ever give you is the enemies are going to spawn where your team isn't. Um, so take a look at the mini-map right here. My entire team is in the mall to the left of me, which means the enemies are going to spawn in two places, behind me in that courtyard to the back, and in front of me in that open area with like the highway and stuff. They're going to spawn in both of those areas right now, so they're going to be coming at me from two ways. Basically, whatever I decide to do, I have to act fast. I decide to just charge right into that spawn right in front of me, because when you charge from this building right here in front of me, they usually don't expect it. So basically, I'm just going to reload my gun and charge right in there, hopefully disrupt them and get a bunch of kills. Let's see what happens. So basically, I was correct. Um, my shooting could have been a little better, but whatever. <laughs> so right here, again, I paused the video. Where are they going to be spawning? Obviously to the left of me. My entire team is to the right of me. So obviously, I make the decision to go this way. Not a hard decision to make. So I go down here expecting there to be a lot of them. There's not, but I see one guy running away, which means most of their team probably spawned there and have already entered the mall and other places. So I'm going to do a quick lap, do a quick check. Right here, you'll notice a teammate tripped a bouncing Betty and it blew up right there, which means a lot of guys probably already entered the mall and up those stairs. So where am I going to go? Obviously, up the stairs. And we end up getting a couple of them over here. There weren't as many as I hoped there would be, but basically just remember... Whenever you spawn, never just sprint around blindly, always take a quick look at the mini-map and plan your attack from there. So once, once again, right here, just take a quick look at the mini-map and you can easily see that my entire team is still basically in the mall and even farther behind, which means the enemies are going to be in this courtyard to the right. There's usually a lot of them when they spawn here, especially in Ground War, so you want to be a little bit careful, but still, you want to be aggressive. So we got three of them right here, I get a quick double kill, but now notice this. All the guys I killed are going to spawn right to the left of me. The spawns probably haven't changed. They're still spawning in this courtyard right to the left. But what do I do? I forget about that. In the heat of the moment, I just charge forward, and what happens? Yep, exactly. Just one quick thought, and I would have been able to notice that, you know, that would have happened. But, oh well. Luckily, I got a nice spawn, and I get right outside their spawn. So we were, me and my team were able to clean up a few more of these guys over here. And we have another interesting area coming up. Basically right now, you just want to notice that whenever I see an enemy, I'm trying to use cover, I'm trying to strafe as much as possible. I just want to make their job as tough, like, to kill me as tough as possible. I mean, if it's a head-on battle, I want to strafe, I want to take cover, I want to do whatever it takes to get the advantage. So I run up here, get a few more guys, and you'll notice there's a teammate behind me on the mini-map. Now, right now, I hear a shotgun go off, and I notice that the teammate behind me disappears from the mini-map. So, obviously, there's an enemy behind me. So very quickly, you see the teammate disappears. I quickly turn around. All I have to do here in a head-on battle, strafe, take him out, strafe, Dusty, strafe. Let's see what happens. I charge him head-on and get blown away. Oh, boy. That could have been a great kill streak. Their team was probably still spawning over there, but I kind of blew it. Anyway, on this life, I make the same decision. I basically run to where the enemy team isn't, but I get a little over-aggressive, and I don't check my surroundings, and someone just takes me out. Nothing much to it, just got to be more aware than that. So, this life is a little bit of an interesting one. It's a pretty long life, and I make a couple decisions that extend my life. Now, right here, you'll notice that I don't just run back into that courtyard, because that's kind of a death trap. You, at the very least, even if you know the enemies are going to be there, you do want to take cover and stuff like that. So I don't just run straight down into that courtyard where a lot, you know, it's very easy to die. I run up here with my team a little bit. 
because I know the enemies are going to be trying to enter from this doorway. But at the same time, you don't want to stand right in the doorway too long because that is also a death trap. So I'm trying to play it pretty safe here, but at the same time, get a few kills. Get lucky here. And now I'm noticing that the battle is kind of shifting a little bit. Look like down on the mini-map behind me, the enemies are kind of entering the courtyard. You'll be able to see some red dots there in a little bit. So even though I'm still cleaning up out here, I want to be aware that the enemies could be entering the escalator at any time, because they're starting to take out some of my team down there. So that's why I'm kind of playing it really safe here. I don't really want to make myself too vulnerable while I'm on a kill streak. They just got the EMP, so I couldn't really get off my Predator, but I am still trying to get to the Reaper. So I'm going down here, trying to get lines of sight on the courtyard, basically still playing it safe. Basically, obviously, I just saw my teammate shooting up there, so I turned, and of course there was a guy. At the end of the day, what I wanted you guys to take away from this life was that even in games where you're playing hyper-aggressively, certain situations may arise where you need to slow it down a little bit. You'll notice that for most of this life, the team's positions prevented me from m moving too far out one way or another. I didn't want to enter the courtyard because I knew I would have died, and I didn't want to enter the front door because that is sure death. So I just stayed you know, in the main area, and I was able to still rack up a bunch of kills, even though I slowed down a little bit. Now, you may be saying, Dusty, in a real game, no one would ever be able to put this much thought and detail into the gameplay while it's going on. And that is true, but I just wanted to bring to your attention all the ways you can think about things, and just how using the map can basically predict exactly how a lot of battles are going to go. You don't have to just watch the minimap the whole time. In fact, I would definitely recommend against doing that. But every two seconds or so, two or three seconds while you're running around, obviously you're keeping your eyes on the main screen mostly. Definitely do that, just so you're always ready for a battle. But every two seconds or so, just give the minimap another look. Give it a look. Give it a look. Just every now and then. Just note the positions of teammates. Note the positions of the enemies. And hopefully you'll be able to make a good decision pretty fast. You do have to make it pretty fast or you're going to die. But... Just make it fast and always be ready for a battle, and you'll be surprised at how well you'll do. Anyway, that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If someone wanted to leave a like or subscribe, that would be awesome. If not, no problem. Anyway, that's about it. I will see you later.